بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرحلی صدری و اسلی امری و حل العقدتن من لسانی یفقہ قولی I have come uh, with a different video here. Uh, this is uh, related to the payment analysis and design. Uh, my course code is 569. And uh, this is the solution to the problem 7.4 and 7.10 from the textbook Payment Analysis and Design and by Wayne. Uh, the students were finding it difficult to solve. So here uh, is, is the solution of this problem. Let's see uh, and proceed. Now, uh, this uh, problem 7.4, it uh, the table has been given in which uh, the results of fatigue test on an asphalt treated base uh, we have to develop an equation to the number of repetition to failure and the initial tensile strength. Uh, on your screen, you can see there is column 1, column 2 and column 3. All of them has been given. And the yellow, co the fourth column has been, diff uh, you know, been derived from column number 3. Just... Uh, it's, it's, it's not column number three, it's actually column number two. And we have to uh, put it in the manner that we have multiply the value of the strain 3.15 into 10 power minus three to get this value uh, in the form that we are having. Uh, and once you know that thing, this is the first step we have done. And it's very, uh, even if I would not have calculated column four, I have just uh, uh, I've just drawn this on the, uh, the uh, on the set Excel graph and could have done this, but uh, for the sake of simplicity, I've uh, done this thing. Uh, and part of this is column two multiplied by ten power minus three. So three point one five multiplied by ten point one three will become three point point double zero three one five or point eight seven three, and that's that's that is how. If multiply 10 power minus 3, it's point triple zero eight seven three. What we need to do, we have to find, uh, we have to uh, use this logarithmic graph in which uh, there is a number of repetition to failure NF uh, versus uh, the strain uh, inch per inch. So this is simply uh, column number 3 is on x-axis and column number 4 is on the y-axis. So I have drawn this value and these blue are the actual uh, point and for that, after that, once I have drawn this value, I have fitted uh, this baseline curve uh, and this the best curve is, is simply a logarithmic curve in which the equation uh, from Excel you can easily derive or find that this is 0 0.00089 uh, into x power minus 0 0.283. And the the best fit, this is a best fit that the coefficient of rec uh, regression uh, adjustment is 0 0.99. So this, uh, nothing can be better than uh, fitting this curve. Uh, and from this, uh, if I extend this line uh, at the origin, I find uh, the number of repetition uh, at failure at 30 will have the strain as 0 0.00033916. 000 000 that will be used uh, in the solution of the problem. So let's uh, tabulate the solution. Uh, we have a slope 0 0.08283. This slope is, I mean this slope, uh, this 0 0.283 is the slope. Uh, then the value of uh, F2, because we have to, uh, in order to determine the relation, the relation is type is NF is equal to C2 times uh, epsilon uh, base G, uh, tensile strain uh, to the power minus F2. So in order to have this equation, we, are, we want to know actually the value of C2. We want to know the value of F2. Now, now, what we have done here is from slope 
yes and the from graph f2 i know uh, f2 is simply the reciprocal of the slope so that's uh, that's how 3.53 value of f2 has come along and then for the tensile it's because we know to know the calculate c1 uh, in order to calculate c1 we will again use this equation so for using this equation we must know nf and we do, must know et and this nf and et actually has been determined uh, at the start, uh, at the initial point, and that we can know uh, from the graph that nf is 30 and this et. So when I substitute uh, nf is 30 and et is this, I found c2 as 6.29 to 10 power minus 8. So, so the general equation for this, uh, for this, uh, Fatigue test is simply C2, that is uh, drive C2 or C1, where we can say an in constant. This is 6.29 to 10 power minus 8 into uh, epsilon, and this F2 is here. So it's a very simple problem. All we need to use uh, is, uh, is an Excel graph. So let's move on to the next problem. And this pro uh, next problem, also the same sort of problem. So let's see. Now this is a uh, result for of a dynamic test on HMS specimen, and what we want to know is the elastic strain is uh, four point one two eight ten power minus five. We have to find the uh, permanent deformation parameters a and mu. Uh, so uh, again, we have been given this equation, uh, this table, and uh, two values of the table are all, the two columns are already given to us. And what I've done, I've determined column number three simply because it is 2.36 into 10 power minus 5. So I multiplied this and I've come up this value. Now, what we need to know is, again, we have to plot number of repetition, loads to failure to accumulate a strain. And again, uh, I've come up with this equation uh, that has slope of 0.2864, uh, constant 3 to a three to coefficient of 3 uh, into 10 power minus 5. And we have the best fit curve that is 0 0.9973. And uh, now, if we want to know the intercept, this intercept is simply uh, 2.80 into 10 power minus 5. Uh, and this is needed to solve the equation uh, like we have done. This ET uh, is given to us, 4.13 to 10 power minus 5. Uh, the slope, 0.2864. You can find it from this regression equation. Uh, the intercept, uh, as you know, that I've uh, you know, projected this line towards the origin. So this is that depth is 2.8 into 10 power minus 5. And the ones you know, alpha is simply 1 minus slope. So 1 minus 0.2864 is 0.7136. And mu is simply S into I. Uh, I is the intercept, 0 0.2.824. S is uh, 0 0.2864. It's just by plugging in the value, we get the value of mu. So again, the question was very easy. All we need to understand is our plot and the best fit curve. And obviously, we all are conversant enough uh, with uh, this Excel uh, to solve these the small problems. So that's uh, it. Thank you very much. <laughs> And if you want me to solve other problems, uh, we can have this type of presentation for them as well. Uh, take care.